I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hours of my life. So it's true. We're back and we, we're getting forced now to do the entire game again. We have got some rules this time around. Right? There we go. We've got some rules. You know, it's going to be great. Right? So, uh, to move forward, push W, push S. To move back, to move left, push <laughs> pu push A. To move right, push D. The mouse turns you to run, push left, shift. Okay, and we are officially back in this cell, and as you've seen, it transitions to white, looking through the window, and we are 100% back in our cell. This is actually real. We have we are again forced to do this entire game again just because I didn't I didn't keep to my promise. Hey there. You, kinsman, I haven't seen another Dunmer in here, and I don't know how long. Where are you from, huh? Vardenfell? You got a wife back home? Tell you what, I'm getting out of here in a couple of weeks. When I get back to Morrowind, I'll look her up. She must be so lonely. Don't you worry, eh? I'll take care of her long after you're dead. Oh, that's right. You're going to die. We'll see about that. <laughs> hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, it's, it's true. It's happening again. It, it's, it's, it's happening again. Everyone's coming back for us. It will accept them. Stay away from me, you bad man. You remember? I remember you. You're the one who says you don't care if I'm a child molester. It doesn't matter what I've done. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying I've molested children, but you don't know. You don't know this. What's this prisoner doing here? <laughs> oh, oh, remember me? <laughs> Never mind. I'm a friendly person. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. No sign of this. Stay put, prisoner. Good. Whoa. Let's go. Whoa. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Ah, oh, no, no, no. The it... stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Okay, so you need to tell us what's going on because we already know what's going on. Assassins attack my sons. Oh, how sad. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, Tanner says the that you don't make it. That escape route leads I'm, I'm down to win a Tanner here. Right. Who are you? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. Oh, I'm fucking emperor. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Right. I know why I'm in jail, right? It's because 
we, right, we've established this. Or my, my character could have been a child molester. We don't know his backstory. We, that we've established this three years ago. Um, the other thing that we established, that he was made in a warehouse. Um, he's got a code name. Um, that's about it. I mean, there's not much to know about Turtle Toucher. He's a mysterious figure with a big nose. Why am I in jail? I re we, we need to know this. Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. Just saying. That is not what you will be I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to say it again. Like, actually, no. You know what? Roll the clip of episode one of Oblivion. Because I need to, I need, I need to get this known, right? It, right. Basically, I'm, we're going to roll it right now. Just listen to what I have to say, okay? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna say this now. If you if you was a child molester, right? I don't care what you do, even if you save the world, you're not gonna be remembered as the person who saves the world. I'm not saying my character was a child molester, because I don't know his backstory, but he could have been. I mean, he is called Turtle Toucher. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, and yeah, there you go. Just listen to that. You know, you, I don't give a shit, right? If you was a child molester, it doesn't. It 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 would not matter, right? If you, like, you know, if it was a fucking asteroid coming down to like crash into Earth or something, and you fucking miraculously jumped up there and fucking stopped there, you you saved the world, you know. There was nukes about to go off. You were the one who fucking took out all the fucking people, and you've done every. You you know, you was the most heroic person in, in the world. You'd only be a hero for about four seconds because people would be like, ah, oh, fuck, it was that fucker who molested all them kids. That's exactly what I'm trying to say, right? So it doesn't matter. It does matter what we've done, right? So it, it does. It really matters, Uriel Septim. Don't make, don't make it out that it doesn't matter, right? Anyway, moving on from that, because I just wanted to get that off the top of my head again for the second time. What should I do now? Because I really need you to know this. find your own path. Take care. I know this. There will be blood and death before. Oh, the there'll be a lot of death. I mean, I've never tested it on a skim, but we are on the hardest difficulty. We've been forced to do this. I didn't really want to do this, even though I really wanted to do it. I want to talk about. I did want to do this, but we got forced against our will. Yeah, my lucky day. Wherever you say, Boris. Um. Anyway, let's follow these down here, and we have got some really, really strong rules. Really strong rules. So if we break any of them, you're gonna, it's going to transition into a white screen, and we're going to go back into this cell, and that's going to happen every time, okay? And our rule is, is not to do every side quest, it's not to do anything. We just need to prepare ourselves for the very last mission, which is us... I mean, like, I mean, the one with Maroon's Dagon, nothing, right? It's the one against Mankar Cameron. That's the one that's going to be a lot of trouble for us. You know, are we going to do it? Like, I don't know. That's what we need to prepare ourselves for. So as long as we prepare ourselves for that, anything's possible. We could do it. And you know what? We might end up, might, we might end up even doing, we might do like 200 episodes of this. We don't know, right? That's all I'm saying. It could be longer. It could be shorter. Close up left. But we are on a hard, the hardest difficulty. So let's see how long we can go before without dying. Right. All right. Anyway, we need we do need to get this sword, however. So let's equip this. We haven't got a birth sign yet or a class. Or oh, I'm only that one. All right. So there's going to be we're going to have to do that. And you know what we're going to do? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, do you know what I was about to do then, straight away? I was about to take everything off just because I was so used to doing it on my other on my other playthrough where we had to do it naked. Um, yeah, and that's one... I think that's another reason that the game got reset for us. Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't mean to do anything. I didn't mean to do anything. All right, so remember that these mythic dawn robes, they don't actually do anything, right? So just don't pick them up. Unless you really like the Mythic Dome. In that case, you could get sent to... You could remember, you could get sent to jail for that. Just go remember that. Right, R Reynolds, Akvari, Katana. Rem always remember to pick that up. I think when I was playing this years ago, that I, I don't think I... I don't, can't remember if I got that or not. Oh, I might have. Anyway. Right, gonna make our way here now. 
Don't try and follow. Okay. To ready a weapon of fists, push. Um. Well, let me have a look. What's this? Rule. I'm pretty certain that I haven't got it written on this list because I think I didn't I didn't read that bit of the video, but I'm pretty certain I just broke a rule. And oh uh, yeah, shit. Let me write down the final rule because I forgot is um never talk before possessed. Voice. Yeah, I forgot because um, I'm getting possessed by someone who does a voice and will he forgive me? Ah, uh, okay. Since it's a first offense, I will let you off the hook. But you do this again. It's going to get reset. Okay, so to ready your weapon or fist, push R. Yes, you, Stephen, this vlogs. Pay attention. To attack, push L button. To block, push R button. That was a bad mistake by me because I- it's only because I, I forgot about it. Oh shit, 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 shit. Ah! Oh, your health is low and you are close to death. Increase your poison with potions. Casting heal spells or sleeping. The red bar at the bottom left displays your current health. Alright. If you can remember this, we do get fucked up by you. Alright, okay. Alright, why did- uh, am, am I serious? I'm, I'm seriously gonna die here. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> um, right, so there's, there we go. There's Oblivion hardest difficulty for you. That's genuinely how hard it is. Right, fuck. We're gonna have to do all this again. Protect the Emperor. This is only the beginning. Yep, so... This is yet to come. Just bear with me oh. while we get out here. Because this will get... Right, I think I, I am. It's gonna be. E this is gonna get easier for us. Okay, I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh shit! This will get a lot easier for us. What the, what the fucking way? All right, we need that. We need that. All right, I need them portions as well. Weak portion of healing, yes, we need that. Right. Okay, I need to check. Th yeah, this is definitely better. Right, so this time I'm gonna. I'm gonna just. Oh no, no! no. <laughs> Okay, you can skip the quest uh, thing. Just, just skip it. Thank you, possessed person. Um, now, we've got to deal with these rats, right? And as long as we go... Summon Ancestor Guardian for 60 seconds on self. Wait, what? Uh, how do I summon again? Oh, yes! Did he just one-hit kill him? All right, so we're gonna have to do a lot. We're gonna have to learn a lot of these summoning things this time around because the last playthrough was pretty basic, wasn't it? We be, all we done last last playthrough was basically just use like we was what was it like stealth and yeah, it was like a playthrough like that. Anyway, this time around we're gonna have to use this more. Eat. All right, we'll just attack him, please. Please attack him. Because that rat is deadly. Right, do we have... Right, we got flay. Right. There we go. And we have made good progress right now. We're going to loot the rats because we need as much gold as we can get. And one of our many things right, we can't do is... On our rules is... Let's have a look. Um, I'll, and I, I, after, when we get out of this, when we break out of this prison, I will discuss all my rules. Or shall I do it now? Alright, so I'm going to do it now, right? So our rules are as stands. Right, so here's our rules. Don't 
change the difficulty, right? So we can't change it even for like a second. If we accidentally change it, reset. Do not ever go fully naked, right? And you know the last challenge I done on the last playthrough was to do the game whilst being fully naked, right? Now, right, this, right, this one is the one of the hardest ones. Do not tamper with other people's potatoes, right? That is one of the, right, we can't touch potatoes, right? That's, that's one of them. We gotta get luck 100 and hand to hand 100. So two separate ones there. Um, luck, of course, is like the only one you got. You gotta do it every time we go to sleep and get a level up option. Every time we get to choose a level up thing, we always gotta choose luck. All right, hand to hand, we can we can master hand to hand. But the problem is with that is that we one hundred percent have to use our hand pretty soon before we level up, because otherwise there's just no doing it, nor in this difficulty, I don't think. Anyway, no haggling with people, so that's why I, I wanted to pick up this and tell you the rules by you. No, all right, so no haggling with people. That is going to be a shit, because we need to make the most money. Anyway, no murdering black people. That was a joke, all right, but I've, I thought it would be funny to write it. That was a joke. No murdering quest givers. So... Anyone who gives us a quest, who, like an optional quest, who we can murder, that is just absolutely not happening. We will get the game reset. No drinking any lager, because as you know, I love Budweiser. Uh, so we can't do that. And never talk before the possessed voice. Okay, right, I think that's it. But I can't remember. On the, oh, right, on the, if you go back and watch episode 100, he did tell, he gave us a list at the end of what not to do. And I can't, I actually can't remember if. He gave us the... I, I can't remember if he added that onto the second part. Because he done it and then he redone it. All right, so we don't know. The possessed voice. Ah. Uh, to bring up your journal, push tab. You can use this to view your character's attributes. Equip armor and weapons. And choose spells. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so now we got to go this way. We was banished from going that way. We were banished. All right, now we got to go... Right, we can hear more rats, right, but... All is going to be good because we've got this flay. Right, your sneak skill is increased. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to drop our first real save. That's basically all we got to do about it right now. Gonna, we're going to encounter the first weapons again, yeah? Right, your sneak skill is increased. Right, there we go. This is the rat. We should. There we go. Right. We can, I think, I have faith that we could do this without dying. From now, oh, no, 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 without dying. We can do this entire episode without dying. I mean, right, rusty iron dagger. We will take it because we do need the coins, right? The arrows are good again for coins. Now, this is where it's going to get good for us because we have got our first armor, right? Now, and if you don't, right, let's just go and pick everything up first, right? So it's a leather shield, a rusty iron bow, and here we go. If you have a lock pick, you can try to pick most logs. Move the pick upward into a tumbler. When the tumbler reaches the top of the lock, click the left mouse button to secure it in place. When all the tumblers are at the top, the lock will open. Alright, so we remember how to do this. We haven't forgot anything. All right, so there we go. Ten gold and a sapphire. All right, so I can't remember if I was, what I was saying before this now, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, we can put this on. This. Alright. And right, we, the stuff we don't need, we could sell. Right, but let's, right, so this is bad. This is bad, and this is bad. But we can still use this bow and arrow and get some because to level up our sneak skill. Ah, uh, now you're ready to practice with your bow. The bucket near the well will make a good target to draw a name. Push L. Release it when you're ready to fire. All right. That's all we need to know. Now we're gonna loot stuff of course though this is worth three gold we need to take it we need, do need to take everything we can right torches are just cool to have because who doesn't like going through a cavern with a torch right i would do it right now but we have got this right that's a goblin and we don't want to see these not yet right but he has got um scrolls right and these can be used as a one-time spell iron key that's to get through probably this door uh, and lockpicks. Right, there we go. That's basically everything. Now it's just this one barrel, which has more clubs. That. Let's get them. And lockpicks, uh, which are going to be really useful for us for the start of the game. And this is going to be a really fun playthrough, this is, of the game. We're going to be, you know, it's going to be probably the... It's going to be even better than my last playthrough. And if you didn't watch my last playthrough, 
doesn't matter, you can watch this now. And I'm not expecting this to get views because my last one didn't, but if this one happens to get views, well, thank you. Ah, now practice casting spells to cast your selected spell. Push L, Alt, if you want to change spells. Push Tab to bring up your journal again. Thank you, Delvin Mallory. Fuck. Uh, click on the spell icon at the bottom of the journal to pick, bring up the magic tab. All right, I, I kind of fucked up then, so I need to take that. And I'm saying that because this thing has got too close to us. Your health is low when you are close to death. Incre I've said this to you already, you know. Ah. Right, that was too close, that one. That was too close to us. What we need to do, right, we're going to go back through here and we're going to wait. And waiting is the best form of healing on this game. Right, there we go. And let's get back through. Right. Now, obviously, there's going to be more enemies because we've been warned there's more enemies. But we we just need to do this as best as we can. Right. But that's good. We've got more of that. We could take the. We can take these. But we're going to have to stop picking up stuff in a minute because we're already nearly full. Right. So we got. Right, this is for like this is light armor, right? But I think this time around we want to level up some heavy armor. It'd be good for us to do this, right? Anyway, now we've got a, we're gonna get noticed easy a lot easier. After like sneak does sneaking like this help? Right. Anyway, we're gonna have to make our way down here now and see if we can do this undetected. Alright, fuck. It's three rats, right? Four rats and a zombie. What the fuck? Your magic is low and you might not be able to cast spells. Magic returns slowly on its own. Or you can increase it by drinking potions or sleeping. The blue bar at the bottom left displays your current magic. Alright. Wait, what? He's just like fully running past us. I really? I just wasted all that on that. We killed him, right? And we're gonna. Right, he's quite hard to take down this one. So we're gonna take another sorcery potion. Go watch, man, because you might take a lot of damage off, off us. Right, we've got no magic left now. No, we're just gonna have to take him out. Now, this is what the game is gonna be for us. It's gonna be hard. Right, and all I'm gonna say is I wouldn't expect me to do this game insanely quick, because you know it's gonna be hard for me. Uh, your fatigue is low; you cannot do as much melee damage. Fatigue re returns slowly on its own, especially while walking instead of running. The green bar at the bottom left displays current fatigue. Right, there we go. And oh yeah, this episode is gonna be 101 because I think it's I, I do find it cool that I it's basically just me continuing on my other playthrough, but we're starting again, and I like the thought of that. And again, I would use mods, but I really need someone to teach me how before I do it. Because I have no clue. And you know what? I might right. I'm gonna put these in two separate playlists though. This is gonna be episode 101 and one, right? But I wanna do it as that because I think what happened with my last playthrough that people would People might like see it. They might like one app, but they might like one of my newer episodes and they might go back and think, oh, I want to watch one of them. They go to my first one and my first one wasn't that, it wasn't very good. Right? It wasn't good at all. How do we go? Let's take some damage off him. One of the first things we want to do though is get ourselves some. Good magic stuff. Alright, so there we go. We could save now. Alright, we'll just. Yeah, we'll do another save. And as you can see, we've got like. Look how much saves we've got underneath. These are our old saves. So, alright, this is tea bag. That's another playthrough. Which, that one, I just randomly go and play randomly. And like look for quests and stuff. Anyway. That's where we finished off in the Bastion. Oh yeah, that's what. That's how we failed. That's how, right. So if you didn't know how we're back here now, if you didn't watch that episode, we're back here because we promised to do the game without armor. And I put armor on just to see what it looked like on my character in the last episode. And somebody didn't like it, did they? Alright. 
We're doing good sneaking now. It's going to be definitely something waiting around here for us, though. Uh, there might be a skeleton pretty soon. All right. All right. I can see. I can see a rat up there. So we could, if we just stay in the shadows. Fuck, this is, this is going down awfully. Ah! Right, we're, we're dead. Ah! Right, we're dead. It's, it's very hard, actually, to defeat rats. It's, I'm going to treat this like, if you've, if you've ever played Morrowind, or do you know what Morrowind's like when you start there? It gets very, very awkward. All right, this is what this is like. We're good. It's it is quite challenging, isn't it? So, like, Oblivion seems like an easy game, but if you really played with, if you played with, um, it, well, if you played like this, you'd find that it is not that, it's not that as easy as it seems. Right now, hopefully, we only got one onto us. If we've only got one onto us, we could take him down. Now, there's the other one. I'm pretty certain that rats are like so more aggressive on it. They're like, they're just ridiculous. They're an actual joke. Right, wait, wait, what's our best? Our best is definitely this, but the problem is no, we haven't got much protection or anything, and we can't. It was this fire damage. All right, we're gonna use this. Are you fucking serious, chameleon? Fuck, right. I, I, I've got an idea, right, and I know that, I know this, using this for a, a rat is insane, but if I use chameleon potion, I shall be able to avoid everyone and remain undetected. And I don't have a cream soda in this episode, because if you watched, if you watched, if, if it was here that long ago, I had a cream soda when I was first playing this. I thought that was funny. Because I probably, that was the last time I ever drank a cream soda little. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna go around here. See if we interact with anything. Oh, I don't know if it is, but if it is, we're fucked. No, I know. Let's get past. All right. How can they see us? Please let me know how they can see us, because they shouldn't be able. To. All right. This is impossible. The, wh ah. What the fuck task am ah. I giving myself? This is impossible. We're going to be stuck in this for ages. And this is why I said it could be like 200 episodes. And, th and this is why. This is what I mean. All right. So anyway, let's um, get a save back up. That's what I meant. What it could. I said it could be 200 episodes. This is why. Because this could be the entirety of episode one. Us fucking around in this dungeon on the hardest difficulty. But if you're enjoying it and you like seeing me struggle, you're sick bastard. Right, anyway, we're gonna run. I think that's gonna be the play here. Just to run, and hopefully there's one. Them things are fucking fast, though. Right, he's gonna come up here, obviously. Right, you gay rats, right? You are gay rats. This is what gay rats do. Right, anyway, if we get this now, right, there's nothing much we could do here, actually, other than die again, but if I... We fucking done it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, and that, that's big. That's big for us. Because now I think it's going to be one rat, and we can take him down, and then we could... If it's two rats, all right, so if it's two rats, we could take them down easily. But if it's any more than two, we're fucked. And I'm trying to think, like, rats are pretty easy characters to kill so yeah i don't know i don't know how we're gonna level up our character how are we gonna level him up really i don't know we might have to go and pay people to level ourselves up anyway let's get around here and, and just to prove i'm on the hardest difficulty i'll show you i've got options you gameplay there we go difficulty is to the max there you go so right There we go. And 
we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to we're definitely gonna have to auto save not not auto save a quick um like well wait and we'll have to wait every single time just to make the most out of all this right and yes for this one I'm gonna have if you if you know in my channel I done this in May I think May, I think it was like May the 18th or 19th right. Right, it doesn't tell you, right? But I think it was 18th, 19th, whatever. And every time I would reach that date, um, you know, every time I'd reach, like, the 19th, I'd have, like, a brand new... I think it's the 19th I uploaded it, anyway, so... Every time I'd reach the 19th, I'd have a brand new thing on my channel, right? I'd have a brand new picture for my um, my thumbnails and everything, right? So now I'm going to restart it, because I know it's now me, wherever. I'm gonna re we're going to restart it. So I will do a special video every time... We get to that if we ever do that, do it for that long again. But uh, this is going to be the start date now. I'm recording this 29th of November. It was initially going to be on the 27th of November and released on the 28th, but I had so much videos. I had to edit like a four hour central video, so it, it, it took too long. Anyway, with that being said, we've got this now two rats to kill by you. I don't know if we'll do it. We did save, but I'm going to save over my other save. To make sure, there we go. So yeah, we've got, with all that being said, this is going to be new. So it's going to be new thumbnail. Episode 1, no, it's, I'm, going to, I'm going to call it episode 101 and then hashtag 1 uh, for our, what, what, like, expert we'll call it. Our expert playthrough. Because that's what it is. There we go. And we've got our heavy armor skill increased. That's absolutely beautiful. Right, so there we go. There's the rat meat. Now we're going to take our, make our way around here. We did see some others, didn't we? There might be a chest or something here for us. Let's have a look what's on the floor. Let's, we'll just take us... Oh, there we go. There's our first helmet. Right, there's a rusty iron helmet. We probably won't have this stuff for long. Rusty iron shield. That might be better than our current shield, actually. So we'll put that. Where else is here? Right, I don't think we can carry that is the, that is a lot, right? So Uh you've picked up more than you can carry. In order to move again, you'll need to drop some items. So I'll push tap to bring up your journal. Okay. So we'll Uh your current in encumbrance exceeds the maximum you can carry. Displayed in the lower left of the inventory page. Shift click to drop items you don't need. Alright. So we don't need these now. Right, so there we go. They can go, and what we'll do. Let's look for the worst things, right? Which, but the worst things that weigh quite a lot. Right, these, right? They can go, and there we go. We are free to move again, right? So we just all we'll do is avoid the rusty axes and stuff. Shit! Now, fuck! This is what I didn't want, because I gonna have to waste one of these now. No, I'm shit. No, I'm fucked. That was as close as he's going to get. That was so close. All right, now we're going to make our way out. I think we can probably make our way out of here now. I don't th I don't think they put skeletons onto us, do they? I don't think. Anyway, I hope not. Just make sure I'm still recording on both things. I'm still recording. This is good. All right, so we're going to drop another save, and there's going to be a lot of dropping saves around here. All right. So, yeah, there we go. S I don't think that... Yeah, there we go. Sneak skilling increase. So that's what you want, basically. You, you want your sneak skill to the max. There we go. And we want to... We do want to blade skill up pretty shortly as well. Right. Right, we can't rest because there is an enemy nearby. Right now, we just got to know where he is. Probably down there. But oh, we can wait. Right, so there we go. We waited. Now let's get pa let's get down here. All right, and there's probably going to be an enemy waiting for us. But let's see what's in the sack. A weak healing potion, three lockpicks. 
That's probably from prisoners trying to escape. Naughty prisoners. I think there's something there. There's going to be an enemy, though, definitely. You know, I wouldn't mind... If, do you know what? I wouldn't mind if it's zombies. Zombies are genuinely not that bad. And the good... Because the good thing with zombies is... I thought it was another one behind him. Yeah, the good thing with zombies is they're really slow. Oh, my God. Ale. Yes. Uh, but Steve, when I said no, drink it lager. Well, well, this is oblivion. That makes no fucking sense. Oh, but you need to play by my rules. No getting drunk off lager. Where's ale lager? I don't know. Ah, oh, fine. It only applies to real life. It's busted. Right, so let's drink our ale. Right, what does I do? Drain intelligence, drain willpower. All right, we're gonna we're gonna drink all four of them. There we go. Fuck. Did we level up something though? It sounded like it. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes. There we go. That because that was a sneaky move by me then. So we we do increase our skill. All right. Shit. Let me drop a save. All right. There we go. If we go. All right. It's like a proper like it's like it's like a proper like combat this isn't it right now we're gonna make i think this episode it might not even be that long so it's not it's not that long so i'm sorry but it's just gonna be basically covering the start of the game the last one we done like kvatch and everything fuck all right it might be a while before we become the hero of kvatch this time around and you can understand why all right so don't expect me to do it in this one that'd be ridiculous it'd be absolutely ridiculous all right now we gotta have a look around you is there's nothing ah uh, you can hot key items and spells from your journal by holding down a number key and then clicking the item you want on that slot pressing this number will, while exploring will equip that item instantly that, i've never used that feature but it sounds really cool when he says like when well yeah when he says like that so let, let, we'll, we'll we'll figure out how to do stuff like that later on anyway some stink going some i forgot i didn't read what i said there's a trap, it looks like. Oh, it, it, it'd make a loud sound. Right. Ah, wood door to natural caverns. Right, let's get through here and let's see where it's going to be. Right, it's going to be more caverns, right? But enemies are, are close now. So now what we want to do is get down here. Right, goblins up ahead, right? That goblin up ahead hasn't seen you yet. You might be able to sneak by him. To go into sneak mode, push left control. All right. Well, I think what we're going to have to do to do this, I think we are going to have to take off. We're going to definitely have to take off our iron things, all right? Because they are way too loud. Ah, now this to the crosshair changes to an eye. While you are sneaking, if the eye is dim, no one can detect you. If the eye is bright, someone can detect you. Well, at least we're leveling up our sneak skill. Right. So if we wait, but I think we can just pass him. I think that's what we're going to have to do. But don't worry, if he's still here in the future, we could come back down and fucking absolutely sort him out, can't we? Gotten's like, oh, I wanted to get sorted out. Oh, you have found a mortar and pistol. Equip it to create potions or poisons from ingredients with like effects. Your alchemy skill will make your creations more powerful. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. Fuck. Alright, so we're definitely after, we're gonna engage in combat with one of these, but the problem I have now is if. I get this one and the other one comes from behind. That would be annoying, right? I want to check something first, though. If we go you and go you, how do we view our skills? Right. Where is Sneak? Sneak is 11, right? I wonder if we just go around in circles. I wish you could, like, per progress, like bring a progress bar up on the screen for that. That would be really cool. There we go, yeah. So Sneak increased again. We could probably get this right up. Oh, he died to one of them. 
Nice. It's our bear pelt. We'll have to take that and we're going to have to drop something again. But I'm saying nice because our bear pelt is worth quite a lot. All right, we'll, we will drop a weapon. All right, we'll drop one of, one of them. And then we'll have to go straight away after we get out here to the Imperial, in, deep into the Imperial City and sell our stuff to some nice, kind merchant. All right. Uh, hopefully, hopefully there's something nice in here for us. What is this? Iron dagger. Okay, it's not that good. And a piece of gold. We will take the gold. We desperately need gold. But we have got a lot of lockpicks now, which is good for us. All right. Lockpick. Um, we'll take the arrows. They'll be good later on when we get a good bow. Alright. I think we can... Yeah, we can... These traps are, like, meant to be set off by... Alright, there we go. Please kill them. There we go. We took out both of them. I'm assuming it's probably going to be one more round here, though. And they have lockpicks. Like, why do they need lockpicks? How does that make sense? Alright. There we go. I didn't... Yeah, I, I, we, we gotta get them. Arrows. We might have to drop stuff, though. No, in a minute we might have to. Right. Now we're gonna have to... Right, fuck. You know, they don't even do as much damage as the, the rats. What the fuck? That was easy compared to the rats. The rats are, are ridiculous. Right. I, I would like to take the leather shield, which I'm going to take. Right. We'll just drop our clubs. That's what we'll do. Right. Because we are going to find better items, of course. And we've looked in these already. Yep. 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 Yeah, we are going to find better items. And I'm... I'm Anticipating it being more, and there is more. Right, but if as long as we can sneak, right, it's two. Right, which which is the way out? All right, if we can just if we can actually just fully sneak past both of these, I think that's what's going to be the goal. But him, he's seen us. Right, this is intense. I'm just hoping that one doesn't come and get us from behind. Right, and they haven't. Right, so... There's rats in there, so we don't want them to get out. Rats are very annoying. Right, we just sneak past. This is a shaman, so he might be way more powerful. Right. Iron long so that's pretty good. It only does two. No, it's not good. All right, we're gonna leave that. All right, we need to look for all portions. Ale. There we go. More ale. All right. We do, however, need to make a safe boy. That is ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, what was that? I mean, that's not fair. Alright, now... My... Well, I thought it was a bear trap then, anyway. My initial... thing was to go this way. Right, but we can't because the shaman is ridiculously too powerful. Right? There's no way we're killing him. There's like nothing we can do. Right. Right, what's that going to do? I'm, I'm assuming that is to let them out, which we 100% don't want to do. Right, what we want to do, though, is we want to piss him off. Just hope he doesn't get involved over there. Fuck, no. We made a massive mistake then. And that was not waiting first. Right. 
right there we go right so what we definitely need to do now is well save again all right and um, we do need to get through the i've been on you for 44 minutes and i'm not even out of this cave yet right Right, this is going to be where we run. And hopefully, we can close in on the end, because I am not defeat him. Right, uh, hopefully we're back. Right, let's just quickly search this. Right, hopefully now this takes us back into the room. That was what we are hoping. Right. If this takes us back into the room now. Right, let's have a look. Yes! Got us back into the room. Right. We don't want to get involved in anything, by the way. Anyway, let's wait. We don't want to get involved in anything unnecessary. Right. There we go. We're back through. It. It's that prisoner again. Kill him. He might be working with the assassins. You pushed it. No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must help us. As you wish, sire. There we go. He's going to talk they to us. They cannot him. understand why I trust you. But they should, They've shouldn't not they? Seen what I've seen. Like you've seen some I dodgy explain. stuff. Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I do. Right, the Nine guide and protect us. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Right. I what I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna quit, right. So I'm gonna end the video right now, and I'm gonna come back on because I need to. T I need to go and check what I done because I want to get exactly the same. As we had before, so I will be right back. All right, so we're right back here, yeah? and now we got a. Yeah, we got to talk to him, and our birth sign was. No. Thief. That's what our birth sign was. So. Yeah, I couldn't remember, so I had to look. But I would, if I had a guess out of one of them, I probably would have. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. Right. How can I explain? Listen. Yeah, we've done this, right? So, yep, 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 yep. Right, birth sign is thief. That's the one we chose. And the thief ability grants a 10-point bonus to your agility, speed, and luck attributes. That's good. For, that's very good, right? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to be born under the sign of the thief? Right, stop going to speak when I want to speak. The only way I'll reset the game is if you reset it without forgetting, without realising what you've done. And then you press yes. Right. If you're doing it, if you're gonna do that, right, are you gonna go past the screen? I'm resetting it. But you're being a good boy. The signs right. I need show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. What about me when will I come? Your stars are not mine. Today the thief shall guide your steps on the road to oh, destiny. Yeah. Got a nice. Uh, this is from the game of the year edition of the game. Yeah, it looks a little beat up a little bit. Yeah, it's actually not that bad condition, but uh, I've got a really good one. But is the in the box and is the Japanese one, which I remember I've said this on Oblivion episode thirty two. I think I bought it right, and I I, fin I have one hundred percent finished it. So if anybody who'd actually if anyone's watching this who wants to get all the achievements on the Japanese version, I can lend it to you if you give it back. So, just remember that. I will post it to you and then you send it back. If you don't, well, I just buy another one. I don't care. Right. Can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. 
Aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumph. And yes, we've all we've been through this bit before. I have lived we well, know. And my ghost shall rest The thing I can't wait to do. I think the best thing is flesh and blood. They yes. know their doom, but not the hour. Right. In this it does talk a lot, I am blessed it? to see the hour of my death. To face my apportioned fate, then fall. Right, what was I saying? Um, I can't wait to get to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. Now, I, can't, I really can't wait to get to them. Because it's going to be more like sneaking instead of like killing, isn't it? And that's what we don't, we don't do that. Now, we really, the, the, I think one of the key things that you've got to do on one of these playthroughs, uh, if you're doing a hard playthrough yourself, is that you've 100% got to go for the sneak, right? If you don't sneak, you just fuck, you know, you're completely fucked. I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. Right. You may as well make yourself useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. Was Boris the one going to kill us? Or I think it was the other one there. Right, the blades. We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our yes. job is to get him out of situations We like, like the blades. This. They're nice. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. You real My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Right. Has anybody played that new game they got on the phone? I played it. I like went on it once, and I, I, I don't know. It's like Fallout Shelter, but a bl like in like with like an Oblivion theme. Well, like Elder Scrolls theme in it. I just, it's, it's not that good. You know, if they had it on the computer, it would be different. But I think it's just on the phone. Like if it was on the computer, I, I would just like randomly play it and stuff. But I can't be bothered to just like. I hate phone games. It, I, I don't know. I just never liked them. The only thing I thought, all the things I used to think when I originally had a like a touchscreen phone was, right? I just want to. I want to play Mario Sunshine on your banjo. So that's all I used to think. I just want. I want to play a proper game. Right, anyway, anyway. Stick close and let us do our job, and you'll be all right. Well, thank you, sir. All right. Now we're gonna make our way down here, following these, and we're gonna save because that was a lot of talking. There we go. There's a save. And yeah, I know this video has been incredibly long for Warriors, but, but it is because we're on the hardest difficulty. Right, your sneak skill is increased. Now, this is all we want to see for a while. Right, anyway, let's still loot, because there is a lot of stuff to loot. And when we get out of here, we're going to explore the wonderful Imperial City, because the Imperial City is one of the nicest places in the game. Yeah, and on the last video, what was I talking about the last video? I was going, I think, yeah, before I did the last video, I was going to watch the new Indiana Jones film, and oh, wow, it's bad. I don't care if I'm spoiling it or, or anything. It is a, it's a, it's a terrible, terrible film. And, you know, my problem with it is, like, the, they got, like, that British woman running around on there. Like, like she's, like, the main character. Like, no. Uh, the other ones, you're like, oh, quick, we, we need Indiana Jones to save them. Now, I was on that one, I was like, go on, fucking, please kill it, please. But no, they didn't. I don't care if I'm spoiling the Indiana Jones film, right? No one cares, right? Don't know when a film's that bad, you don't care about spoilers. That's why you got to see it, you got to see it that way. Right, this door needs a key. All right, so maybe, on this right, I did say we're not going to do, like, the Thieves Guild and that instantly. But we might have to. We, we genuinely might have to go and sign up for it in the next episode. I mean, like, the one thing we're going to have to avoid is, like, the, like, the arena is going to be impossible for us. But the thing is, my task... Well, not, I don't know if I'm going to change it at all. But I just want... All I want to do, really, is just do the main game. I, do, I think the arena will be solid on the hardest difficulty. We will need to, like, go in there with, like, the complete Hold best up. items. I don't like this. We need to be really quick as well to avoid. Yeah, well, that's what we need to do. We need to, we need to get our speed up. So we always choose speed. Right. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through to the sewers. Do we lose... I thought we lost that then. Wait, where did the ancestor guard? All right, we, at least we got that. Oh, that can only be used once per day, so I guess we can't use that now. Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. Right. 
I have to go. It looks like his enemies. Well, unless they're just preparing. Who's, who's the other one? Glenroy. Oh, fuck you, Glenroy. He's, Glenroy is the one who wanted us to fucking die. You know, he's gonna kill us. Yeah, the bastard. It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the emperor. Guard him with your life. So why would they abandon him? Die, this, this is stupid. Right? He knows he's gonna die now. You accept him. It's, it's nice seeing you. We probably will never see you again on this game. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince this of gonna, Destruction and his mortal servants. By you you must not have the amulet. You bastard, you didn't care. He was going to forgive me. He was going to forgive Take my character for being a child molester. A Joffrey. potential child molester. He alone molester. knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. I could kill him. I could. I really could. No, I couldn't, probably. You chose a bad day. The right, they are. We are no match for them. You're pathetic. The amulet of kings will. Like seriously, why, 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 why? Is he? Is he going for us? You thought yours. Let's go for Boris the Tortoise. The Emperor. I must get to the Emperor. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, I thought he had Damble at the Kings. I thought we had to pick her up off him. Did the other one die? I think the other one died, didn't he? There's Glenn, right? Why can't, why can't we touch it? Why can't we touch him? I just want to I want to get all this stuff. Anyway, let's... I think... To be honest, I think we might have looted these just now. The Emperor of the Kings! It wasn't on the Emperor's body! Failed. Oh, no. I failed. I jumped too far. The blades are sworn to protect Oh no, he the give us yeah yeah, he give us the amulet. All kings already, his isn't heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Strange. He saw something in you. Yes, he did. You. He loved me. It's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. Mm. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? No. I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said Brother that Joffrey. <laughs> um, there is another A. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although yeah, we like Joffrey. So we haven't seen him for ages. He lives quietly as a monk at Wayne and Priory, near the city of Coral. You know, if you're at this stage now, leave in, leave in the comment section how long you think it's going to take us to finish this game. Because I genuinely think we're going to. I reckon. It's, I reckon we're going to be three years again, right? So I, because I, I, we're going to do. It's going to be like hundreds of episodes on this, as you can see how long this one is. Right, so it's going to be hundreds of episodes on this. I want to know how long you think we're going to be, because I think, I think we're going to do more, because. Well, like the first video I got it there, right? That's the unedited version, right? And it says one hour forty one fifty, right? That was for episode one, and that's us doing Kavach. You know, we've become the hero of Kavach. We've done like everything up to that point, and then we went and took the amulet back to Joffrey, right? No, we brought it to him. Got him. We was, we got Martin saved, and we saved him. That's when we ended it. So we done all that within like. Near, right, so it's nearly, it's nearly like the same time, like 40 minutes off, it's like the same time as this, so that's ridiculous, that's the unedited one, I know I cut it down to like an hour odd, but yeah, that's the unedited version, one, one hour 41, this is gonna, like, pro First, it might to we might surpass that right now. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate, that's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Right. Anyway, we need to know about the sewers. There are rats and goblins down. Shit. It's, it's, seen, it's not over. I'm guessing you're an experienced monk. Am I right? This is this is not over. Oh, you now must choose your class. The major skills of your class will start higher than your other skills, and you will increase your level by raising these major skills. Okay, so. Let's get to this. We're going to make a custom class, and I think stealth. Yeah. And let's have a look. And we're going to choose speed 
and luck. Right, so what we're going to choose here is going to be acrobatics, athletics, blade, restoration, security, sneak. Yeah, and for the final one, it will be conjuration, right? So athletics, blade, conjuration, restoration, security, and sneak. That is what we'll choose. All right, so now we're going to advance and enter name for your custom class, right? So there we go. Total. Turtles smiley face. And you know what the smiley face is for? It's for me, not for the turtles. Okay. Create turtle smiley face class. Of course we want. Are you sure you want to be a turtles? Of course. I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. All right. After the sewers, then one. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? No. I don't care. Right. Yes, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. What about you? What will you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. Thank you, brother. By the way, <laughs> thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the halls of the Blades. At your service. Right, quest added, deliver the amulet. Now we've got to deliver the amulet. Right. Uh, centuries ago, a great battle took place in the Anvil Bay. In the battle, the legendary pirate, Mar Toridon Abdagal, the Welsh captain of the infamous Black Flag, was defeated by the first count of Anvil. Rumours have been circulating of a hidden underground cavern beneath... Wait a minute. Why am I sounding like a pilot? If the rumours are true, <laughs> are to believe, then the final resting place of Captain Duggo and his ship have been uncovered. I should investigate these rumours as soon as possible. Okay, now we have got to make a move. Ah, oh, I've discovered a notice from Snack Grabura of the Chestnut Handy Stables. She is offering to outfit a horse with armour and no charge to anyone who pretend, presents her with a note like the one I, that I've found. I should bring my horse to her and take advantage of this offer. Right, so we can finally move. We can get out of here and it's a secret passage that leads into the sewers. Let's make our move. Right, now we're going to be sneaking and stuff. I think we can move... Uh, yeah, it starts us off at 25 everything, so I think we've got like, way better sneaking now already. Anyway, we're going to... Well, we'll open this chest and we're going to get into the sewers. This is going to be hard, right? Because, well, yeah, we're still shit. There you go. Door opened with ball... Oh, door open with Boris key. <laughs> now almost close too. Exit the sewers. All right. Now it's going to be a lot of sneaking. We're going to drop a new save. It's going to be a lot of sneaking by you, right, guys? So let's 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 do this. I've heard talk of a lost island city called Varsabalim, where Maroon's day Maroon's race resident. If I search the ruins of Sander Cliff. Watch in the eastern nibbon. I might be able to find the lost city and recover this powerful Daedric artifact. Okay. Ah, uh, according to a mysterious message that's been delivered to me, I've inherited an underground lair called Deep Scorn Hollow from a long lost relative. It is it's situated at the southernmost point of Cyrodiil, south of Leowin. I've marked its location on my map. At the next opportunity, I should make my way out there and inspect my new acquisition. All right, so we can finally do get on now. There should be no more reading. Oh. Ah, according to a deed that's been delivered to me, I've been inherited a property called Frost Craig Spire from a long lost relative. I've marked its location on my map 
at the next opportunity, I should make my way out there and inspect my new acquisition. Okay, now let's move on and do this. No more getting possessed. Ah, oh, I've heard a rumour that defenders of Battlehorn Castle are besieged by marauders and are appealing for aid. Apparently, they're offering... Their commander has been killed, and they're offering the castle itself to anyone who will help lift the siege. Okay, so we can finally walk now. There's going to be no more fucking text or anything. There's a, there's a rat, right. And we can finally make our way out of this wonderful sewer system. Can we make that? No, we can't. Can we jump up there? Yes, we can. Right now, I, it's going to be hard to get out of here. Right we, we, we had Reynolds sword, so we're fucked now. But this is... Because we chose bl uh, blades as an option. Or blade... Yeah, blade skill as an option. This has gone up. Do you know what? You know what? Since we done that, like that was with that was our character was zero right on everything. So we, that's why we were struggling so much. But this now it should be a lot, a whole lot easier for us because we can. Well, you've seen us take down that rat. Then it was pretty easy, wasn't it? Right, and I probably want to get off that and go back to my healing now. Right, I don't know if I'm going the right way though. So we'll find. The only way we can find out is in a minute. Or are these sewer rats? Are these easier? I don't know. We don't know. Sewer rats might be easier. You'd think they'd be harder, wouldn't you? Right, gate. But what is this? This is the exit, right? So we have finally made it to the exit, right? And I, uh, before we end the video, because we could end after just doing this, we want to go and head to into the Imperial City and sell some of the stuff we've got, right? Right, so... Before exiting the sewers, you may revise your character. Edit race, edit person, edit class. Finish. Exit sewers, right? Edit class. Right, now if I... Wait, hang on. Yeah, I wanted... Right, and I... I right, I watched back my... F I was watching my video and I was confused because... He had this picture there, right? And I wanted this picture to be there. I want it to be the exact same, even though if it means nothing, I just want it to be the exact same. So now we're set. We're all the exact same as our original playthrough. And of course, we want to be Turtle Smiley Face. Look at me. There we go. Get to the city aisle. So, finish. Whoa, whoa, back, Stephen. Finished. Exit the sewers. Oh, finally. You can hear the beautiful Oblivion music playing. And we are out. Oh, I've discovered a note from both, both of you. At Arkane University, if I can recover the dwarven artifacts that have gone missing, there may be a reward. I should travel to Camp Alice and see if I can track down these bandits. Okay, so let's make... Ah, oh, the red arrow on your compass shows the direction of Wayne and Priory. You can walk there by following your compass, or use the world map to travel there directly, or you can set off in any direction and begin exploring the world on your own. Good luck. Right, so now we can finally get out of here and explore a little bit of Cyrodiil, because we haven't been out here for a while, and look how nice the moon... Look at that, that moon and that moon is really nice. I don't think I ever actually like. I, like I've been saying this when I've been playing Saints Row recently. Like you don't like you don't really like look up to the sky to even just admire the, the, all the surroundings of the game. What? Can I just say is, is that some joke? Right, we we read them. Is that a joke that they made turtle? Uh, mud crabs like incredibly hard because that just seemed like really unnecessary for it to be that hard. Anyway, if we go on the map, I'm pretty certain you can. Look, why is it like this? Can anybody explain why? Is in is is this because it's this is say that because now I'm on the the game of the year version of the game. Is it because I'm on the game of the year version of the game? Because when I when I originally played this on the 360, I I ran everywhere. I didn't know at the start. I thought you had to go and. Find the places yourself. I didn't know it was like this. Yeah, so... Anyway... 
I mean, we can fast travel, but we, I, I don't want to fast travel. This is the start of the game. We want to go and experience this f for the first time. And I, I did mention a lot in my other video, my other Oblivion videos, that there is a, there's a, there's a man who is like hanging around. Like I don't know where he is. He's like somewhere. I didn't run the back of one of these. That's all I can say because I can't remember. Um, the only way, and I, I remember seeing him on the first episode, but I did cut it out of the first episode. I don't know why. I did make a lot of cuts in the first episode. It's basically because I wasn't saying much. Which is crazy because I probably said more in the first five seconds. Well, that my first speech on this game was probably more than I said in the first entire, in the entire first video. Right. And yeah, the, the, now we're, we're here. We are at the Imperial City. Right, and that is, where is that bit there? Right, that's the prison bit there, right? So we don't want to go anywhere near the prison currently. We want to get into the main part and start our, well, restart our wonderful quest. Now, I know we don't actually have to do anything in the Imperial City to start a quest. I'm just saying, you've got to go your first. That's the law on Oblivion. You don't go to Kavach. You go into the Imperial City because you're like, right, I want to find the biggest place and just wreak havoc on the entire place. Right, well, that's what we're not going to do that, but we're going to, we're going to go, where well, we're going to stay a night in the Merchant's Inn. And we're going to go and then take ourselves and sell oh, nice. some of our items. Right. What can I do? Right. Oh, the Grey Fox. Last thief. I hope they string him up when they catch him. Yeah, and that's the thing now. The beggars are his eyes and ears. All these people, like the Grey Fox, they're all going to be. You too. Everyone. Yeah, we're going to restart. They're all so. Yeah. Oh. What do you Calendil. want? I'm pretty certain we murder him, don't we? Have you ever shopped at Edgar's discount spells? Edgar's discount Dad, spells. Go ahead. But we're going to interrupt. Have a look around. Maybe I can sell we'll some stuff to him. Prices in all right. right. We can sell our ale. Right. Yep. We'll do that. We're going to keep a lot of stuff, but we don't want them. An right. excellent bargain. We're going to keep our ingredients as well for when we get a house and we can store Thank them all there, and then we can actually start on this right. on this pl playthrough. I'm going to do every. I'm going to do everything. We're going to we're going to try and level up as much things as we can, but we need to get hand to hand 100. And I don't know when to start because I don't want like I don't want to level up too much that we go to attack enemies with a sword and just does nothing. And it's going to get really hard when when the enemies get better because we're going to get like completely fucked over. Did I did I buy a bed? I think I did. Anyway, there's a chest. Wait, cloth. We'll take that because we can sell it. We, we, yeah. Um. We don't really want to take. It. We don't really want to take anything to be honest. Let's leave it as it is. Shit. We didn't. We must not have bought one. Yeah, we must not have bought one. So let's go and buy one. Yeah, I forgot, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. go ahead. So go ahead, please. Uh, bed. I do have a bed available. Twenty gold. Twenty gold a night. Well, I'll take it. Very good. So Be seen. How do you do? Oh shit! Oh yeah, we gotta remember not a haggle. Right. So yeah, my list is like that. So there is actually. There's ten, right? If you take out the the joke for no murdering black people, take that joke out. There is ten, even though in the video he does say five key rules. He just added on some extras. Anyway, is it this one? No, it isn't this one. So we'll shut the door for him because we're kind, and it's not this one either. Remember, don't get caught fiddling with locks because they will fucking bang you up on this game. Right? I think this is all empty for us. I want to just drop this question here. If if I was to occasionally come back here, would this chest be mine, like, forever? Would it reset? I don't know. I'm just going to drop that question if anyone is watching. Cupboard. Nothing. All right, bed. All right, we're going to sleep for an hour. I don't know if we've leveled up yet. I hope we have. No, we haven't. Anyway. No, I don't want to sleep for an hour. I'm about. We're going to sleep for... 10 hours, that's what we want to do. We need a long sleep after all our battling with goblins and rats and, well, getting absolutely annihilated by that mud crab, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. There we go. So, we've slept now. We're going to take our way, make our way back. Oh, I've heard a room in a strange doorway. I should pay it on a small island in the Nibbon Bay. Oh, I should investigate. Right, and if you can remember, I think it's from, I think it's like episode 79 
No, no, no. Is it episode 78 onwards, I think? Either episode 78 or 79. I'm going to say 79. Right. It sounds, it sounds right. Yeah. So episode 79 onwards was... That's when we started the... Well, the Strange Door quest. And, like, it was pretty fun going through it like that. I did like it. You know... I do like my style, out of the way my style's completely changed though from like my episodes because like the first ones, are, like they're all different styles and they like the first ones I didn't talk much. Then I was like fucking crazy on my two year, uh, my one year anniversary. On my two year anniversary, I didn't do. M no, I only didn't. Yeah, my two year anniversary ones, I was. Oh, but yeah, my, I was thinking that my two year anniversary ones were this year, wouldn't they? Still. No, it was the same... Wait, when was it the same thumbnail until... Yeah, it was... A, I did have that thumbnail for up to, like, episode 91. So, the, the one for my second year one. And then my third year one, was the one with my green cap. It's a good shot thing. Up there. They say that when you murder someone, the dark... Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I don't know if I... I don't know if you could see it on any of my first... Uh, my very first Oblivion videos, but... Um, up there is still not painted. And I, I just find that funny. It's like, it just, it's really funny. I did, but since... Stop talking! Right, since the last time we played, what's happened is I've painted the walls, as you can see, there you are. And we don't have that annoying bit under there anymore. And I've put some filler, so I need, I do need to repaint these walls again. But there we go, there's that, that's changed. And that's a big thing. And what I've been doing as well recently on games that I've recently played. So I've played Banjo Kazooie. All right, we I start. I, I know. Ignore Lego Star Wars. I'm not doing. I'm not buying anything for that. Right, but we have played Saints Row, Banjo Kazooie, Mario Sunshine, Bully, Terraria, Batman Begins. Right, they're the ones. So if you've only only watching these videos or something, you might not know. Well, it might not be paying attention, but I've played them. But for Bully, I haven't got anything yet. But for Saint, right? So for Saints Row, I bought like I got pins, um, sunglasses. I've got like loads of cool stuff for that. So I bought stuff for that game. I for Banjo Kazooie, I bought like what did I buy? I was gonna buy another copy of the original game for the N sixty four, but I didn't. So, uh, I got I did we I got a bid on a soundtrack for the. Nuts and bolts game, so I didn't get that. But I got a game, a full game guide for the nuts and bolts game, and then I won a soundtrack, a sealed soundtrack. I made an offer and bought it for the original game, and that's probably one of my that's like my dearest collectible I'll ever have for a while. Obviously, I will get a deal. I'll try and get a deal one. Who doesn't like dear collectibles or video game items? Anyway, Mario Sunshine, like I bought. Two, I bought two copies of it and this. This was bundled with one of the copies. You know, I'm so I'm, I'm going to get to my point. The only thing I actually bought the last time we played this was the Japanese version of Oblivion. That's the only, that would have been the only thing I bought, right? I'm going to get on to my point. My point is going to be this. This time through, I'm going to buy a lot of Oblivion like memorabilia. So if I can find like any collectibles or any things they released alongside the game, like promotional items, I will fucking buy them as soon as I see them. Um, I want to get a collector's edition of the game, whether it be on the PC, PS3, I don't know if it was, no, it wouldn't be on the PS3, so the PC or the Xbox, whatever one, I'll try and get it. The one that comes with the sound, uh, it comes with the the making of video, maybe, I don't know if it comes with the soundtrack, you know, and it comes with like, you know, it's like a nice box, so I want to get that. We'll try and buy a lot of stuff to go with this game. That's what we'll do. Right, and... Where should we go? The Corpus Coin Purse is where we're going to go, because that's where we can, I think we can sell everything in here. Yeah, so that, that's my... That's what I wanted to get out away with. I wanted to say that. We are going to... buy some cool items on this on this pl playthrough. What kind and I want to try and make, make sure I, I do that with every game I play now. Right, so what we want to do is we want to sell you Thorny. I'm sure this we remember you, do. you bastard. You absolute bastard. Right. Um, we don't want to buy anything off him, do we? We want to sell, right? So let's go to sell, and we can we're gonna sell basically 
everything, right? So we're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell that because you don't want them both. We just want to get as much money as possible. Right? The Warhammer. I wish Keeper Fu was a bit stronger, but is weaker, so it's no point having it. Right, leather shield. What does that do? That does. That does three. Right, we we could sell this one. Real quick. Right, where are we now? Right, the iron one is better, so we'll drop. That. We'll sell that one. Bit of gold. Right, rough. Um. Right, we need all them a second. Right, now we want to get onto this stuff. So the, you know, the miscellaneous items. Right. You got a great. We can sell all these. That there we go. I want to keep these now this time through. Right. Actually, no, that doesn't matter because we got we got flayed. A good bit of gold. Chameleon. That's uh, that could be useful to us. Right. So we've sold the stuff now. Thank you. There's that. We're gonna have a, obviously a lot of quests to do in this game. There we go. And look, we're turtle toucher. I I made him exactly the same. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, we're gonna have a lot of quests to do. A lot of things we need to level up our character. We need to, perfect, to perfection. But there you go. You can see we. That's why we were was finding it a little bit easier against the rats. But munch crabs seem to be quite hard. But we need to get our armor skills up. We really do. That's that's what we need. So like we need to get block up. We need to get heavy armor, light armor, like all of them basically. And I want to try and get like destruction, mysticism, all of them. I want to get all of them done. Right. Anyway. This is probably going to be the end of the video now, because the, what we have to do, we have to get uh, Wine and Priory, right? And I don't even know if it's possible for us to do this. It's, it's if I wanted to do this in the next episode. I don't even know if we can do the Kvatch and become the hero of Kvatch. So I'm going to leave, well, I'm going to leave it to the next episode. So whether we do that or we start the Dark Brotherhood or whatever, we'll fi you'll find out in the next episode. So for now, this is going to be the end of Oblivion episode 101, but part one of our hardcore playthrough. And I don't know what to call it. It's either going to be hardcore or expert, right? So this is the end of the playthrough. Over and out.